<laughs> President Trump will meet with Senator Schumer and Nancy Pelosi on Tuesday of next week. They're going to talk about funding the government. Uh, Pelosi says there will not be any money for the border wall, which she says is immoral. Joining us now, Matt Schlapp, chair of the American Conservative Union. Matt, immoral. Have at it. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's immoral to follow our immigration laws. I think that's one of the things that Democrats are trying to sell to the American people. You know, the good news, Stuart, is, is that I know Nancy Pelosi had a big night on election night, and uh, the Democrats are taking over in the House, even though her position within, that, uh, within the House is still a bit uncertain. The good news is, is that she really doesn't have a role to play as, we are, as we're in the lame duck. Remember, the Republicans have a, will have a big majority in the House uh, until the new Congress is sworn in, in combination with a majority in the Senate. So the key thing is can we pick up a few Democratic senators in the Senate to vote for uh, robust wall funding? And that's what, what it's going to come down to. Do, do you think any Democrat in the Senate is going to say, yeah, I'll give you the money for the wall. I don't think that's going to happen. You, you know, I, don't, I think it's going to be hard to get all the funding we all might like. But by the same to token, with all the caravans and the one that's going to come after the next and the next one and the next one, I think the American people are beginning to realize that Donald Trump's approach to immigration has really nothing. It, it, what its main focus is simply making sure we have an orderly process at our southern border. The politics on this issue really do benefit the Republicans and Donald Trump. Now, Nancy Pelosi, I believe she says that she's, she's okay with $1.6 billion for fencing. Fencing. Not a wall, fencing, $1.6 Do you think President Trump will accept that? Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton voted for fencing. It's why people hate politicians so much. They're playing word games. Why do you need a fence? You need a fence because we have chaos at our southern border. What Donald Trump is saying, if we have chaos, why build a fence when you can build a wall? And it's not that much additional money to make sure that people only come into this country yeah. legally. So, you know, they're playing a game. And at the end of the day, I think... President Trump should stick to his guns on the wall, and I think he should try to get as much money as he can get for it. And if he has to shut down the government for a period of time, uh, I'm okay with that. You, you chair the American Conservative Union. Are conservatives united in demanding and wanting a wall? They were divided probably um, a couple years ago on this proposition because... They, they didn't understand how bad the situation was at the southern border. I think as they have watched the images, um, I think the Ameri certainly conservatives and Republicans are very unified on the concept that we need to build a wall. We need to have a secure southern border. And as the president always says, and that wall will have a door, but you'll only be able to come through that door if you come legally. I say shut it down unless we get the money for the wall. That's what Ronald I say. Reagan has shut down the southern border yes. before. And as you know, sometimes you have to shut down the government in terms of funding in order to get your priorities done. Done. Matt Schlapp, thank you for being with us, sir. Appreciate Thanks, it. Stuart. Always. Thank you, sir.